What's going on YouTube? This is Kaz and welcome to the Kingdom Perfumes Experience. It's so good to have you guys back on my channel if you guys are returning. If you're brand new, welcome. So glad to have you. Now today's video is a little uh, long overdue. I've mean to put this out. Um, we've already had our live stream. You guys have seen photos, but this is a popular release 2021. Um, it's one of these three Z creators fragrances and we're about to check it out. Stay tuned after the intro. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Now, before I get into it, I usually like to start off all my videos with a quick and simple prayer. Now, for those of you that want to skip ahead to the beginning of the video, there'll be a link in the description below. But for those of you staying for the prayer, let's go ahead and dive in. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for my viewers. I thank you for our lives. Lord, I just pray that you continue to bless each and every one of my viewers. Uh, help us with your spiritual gifts, oh God. Build up patience in ourselves build up love and joy and peace in each and every one of our hearts lord as we continue to you know just live this life and uh go on this journey that we call life in jesus name thank you lord amen all right guys so without further ado we're going to be talking about brass and soul now this is one of three Z creator releases um the other two are business over pleasure and the siren you should have seen um, some photos of each one of the other two on the screen and today we're going to go um, we're going to dive into brass and soul a little bit now for those of you who uh, may not have had the chance uh, jc and i had the pleasure of talking on instagram live um, I'm also, i've also uh, put a copy of that video here on my channel so please go check it out you'll see a pull out tab to that video um, but he's a really cool dude. He was able to send me this bottle as a gift. And I'm really grateful to him for that. Um, so let's start from the, you know, bare bones, okay? The presentation. Presentation is absolutely incredible. Um, as you guys know, this is in collaboration with Zaharoff. And Zaharoff makes incredible fragrances. Shout out to uh, Mr. George Zaharoff if he's watching this. But, um, Look at the font, okay? This was like um, kind of like a 70s kind of jazz uh, vibe type font that you would see in like a lot of older movies. I think it fits the vibe really well. You'll see that brass and soul, the word soul, the S is like a trumpet. And I think that's really cool, all right? And then this is like almost like a music note for the end, all right? In the case itself, you can see a Zaharoff on top. You know, you'll see some miscellaneous stuff on the bottom. And you'll notice that um, on the back, going around the sides of the box, is a sheet of music. Now, this is JC's own song that he put on the box, all right? And he's actually playing this song. Um, I think it's called, like, Rolling Deep or Rolling in the Deep. I forgot the exact name of the song. But I've listened to it um, tons of times on uh, JC's album. I think it's called Live at Portland or something like Live at something. It's a black and white album cover. You can't miss it. And um, one of the songs is actually written on the outside of the box. So I think that's really cool. We got Stay Fresh Productions, SFP right there. Awesome stuff. And um, yeah, so I know you guys are probably wanting to get to see the bottle. So let me see if I can unbox this nicely for you. All right, and it just sits in there really nicely, really snugly, all right? Great bottle. Now, I'm gonna put the box aside, and it is a fingerprint magnet, it's a glass bottle. As you can see, I have a, a significant dent. I, I am slowing down on this now. Um, I just wore it today because I was out um, with some uh, coworkers of mine, some colleagues, and we were playing some golf for some team building, and um, it was pretty good. I was like, you know what, this is pretty good for you know the golf golf course. Um, we're at Top Golf, so it's kind of like, you know, golf meets bowling kind of setup. Still really fun. So you'll notice, you know, similar Zaharoff theme going on. All right. 
Now here we'll have the uh, Stay Fresh Productions and um, Zaharoff message kind of going across there. The juice is a really nice color. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, man, this dent is actually scaring me now that I'm actually looking at it. <laughs> you know, I'll show you guys the atomizer if I can. Let me see. You got a nice, you know, narrow, but kind of, it's narrow, then it kind of fans out, burst. You know, nice focus spray. I'm happy with the atomizer there. And it's just so fresh and aromatic. This fragrance really wakes you up. It lifts you up, and it's also very comforting, okay? And it lasts a good amount of time. I have some on my hand now, and it's starting to get into the dry down. I sprayed it a little bit before I started recording here because I wanted to get some of the dry down before I did a fresh spray on my other hand. But guys, Brass and Soul, okay? 2021. The nose behind this fragrance is Vincent Kuczynski, all right? JC had the pleasure of working with him throughout this process uh, to create Brass and Soul. And if you guys hadn't had the, ch hadn't had the chance yet, um, you can definitely check out uh, some of the videos where JC's explaining his vision for this fragrance, right? We want to think about a musical performance. So in the beginning, it really does open your senses a bit. It's like a bit zingy. I thought there was some ginger in here, actually, but I don't think it's listed in the notes here. Um, and it's kind of like with a jazz performance. It starts out, some jazz performances, they start out really bright, you know, loud, you got the trumpets blaring, all the instruments are on go. And then as it starts to settle in, maybe it's a warm jazz club. They're starting to, you know, get into the height of the song. The trumpet's getting warm, you know, because these are instruments that you're blowing hot air through, right? Everything's getting kind of warmer. Energies, you know, pumping out. People are starting to sweat. You know, maybe somebody ordering some dessert in the background. There might be a gin and tonic, you know. So these are some of the things that JC himself has said about kind of the journey, um, the journey that this fragrance takes uh, when you spray it on, okay? And I definitely see that. Now, here's my experience with it. This fragrance, man, it's, like I said, it's fresh, it's clean, and it's also kind of soapy, too, in the beginning. That's why I really like it, too. It just makes you feel clean, refined, you know, sophisticated. You know, it even made me think of Irish Spring Soap a little bit, um, but not in a bad way. It just, it's so fresh. It has a little bit of green nuance, okay? Um, let me walk you guys through some of the notes in here. We'll go through the whole thing. So right off the bat, in the top, here's what we're going to have. We're going to have citruses. We're gonna have some bouquet aromatic. We're gonna have some juniper, mandarin orange, and some watery notes. So the juniper, um, as I've learned, is a component in gin. And that's kind of what, you know, there's a, there's a note of gin in here as well in the heart, and then there's juniper in the top. So I think those two materials go really good together to kind of transition and create that kind of gin that's slightly boozy um, character that you're going to get as it starts to, you know, get a little warmer and go into the dry down and into the heart a little bit. Um, so now in the heart, we're going to have some spicy notes. We're going to have jasmine, gin, lily of the valley, geranium bourbon, lavender, and cypress. All right. So, you know, we got a really interesting heart, there. a little bit of spice. Okay. To add to that sparkle. We got some um, white floral, some jasmine, and lily of the valley. You know, and I think that's really to kind of soften it up a little bit, and it really adds to the soapy character, you know. It adds to the soapy character. It adds to the uplifting facet of the fragrance. And, um, you know, if you guys are listening to music, specifically jazz, you know, you, when you get into the middle of a jazz song, it's uplifting, right? It, they're, they're going, and they're going, and they're bringing you, you know, to the finale. It's, it's quite... Quite fantastic here. Um, and then finally in the base, we're going to have some smoky notes, patchouli, suede, moss, amber, cedarwood, vanilla, and bushman candle or uh, candle bush. It goes by, you know, a couple different variations. But that's essentially a type of bush. Uh, I think it's east in East Africa is where it's native to. But when this bush dies, it secretes a resin. And that resin actually gives it this nice warm kind of um, aromatic effect. I have to study it a little bit more for myself and get the raw material because I think it gives this fragrance a very, very unique touch. I have not smelled anything that smells like brass and soul 
And um, that's why I really do appreciate it because he worked um, really hard on this. A lot of work and effort and time has gone into this bottle. And I got to tell you guys, it's quite, quite fantastic. Let's um, let just walk you guys through the opening and then, you know, we'll, we'll be on our way here. Now, you're going to get a nice pop, okay? You're going to get the citruses kind of just, uh, it's like an ushering in of the song, okay? Curtains are open. We're starting to play. And it's really nice. All right, so you do get that mandarin orange. You get the citruses, okay? And the bouquet aromatic and the juniper kind of have this really very um, enjoyable floral, this floral bite, if you will, okay? Because juniper can be very, can have a bit of a bite to it. Um, it's kind of hard to explain um, putting, you know, just that that's the journey, right? Is articulating what's coming into our olfactive senses and outputting it through our brain into words. But yeah, it has this nice flowy, you know, floral juniper, you know, aquatic effect. Juniper kind of gives it a, um, a bit of a bite, okay, a bit of a sharpness. And then, you know, as we start to come more into the to the dry down, I have the dry down on my left hand here. And it's, it's very warm. It gets so much more warm. Now, in the beginning, it's a little cool. Like I said, it's a little fresh. You think of mornings, right? You think of the beginning of the song. You think of a cold brass instrument. That's part that's coming from JC's own description. And it's more of the vanilla is coming out, you know, more of the amber. I think the smoky nuances are to kind of give it that, you know, kind of a darker vibe, right? Kind of, like, I think, of like the nighttime. So there's a lot of... Um, cohesion in this fragrance and a lot of ju juxtaposition simultaneously and um, I think it's a very creative project honestly so I'm very happy with Brass and Soul again JC thank you so much for blessing me with the bottle guys I just want to tell you that these bottles the Z Creator fragrances um, uh, Brass and Soul uh, Business Over Pleasure a wonderful iris based uh, fragrance and uh the Siren, which is a nice chocolatey, warm kind of fragrance. They're limited runs. They're not going to be making any more mass producing them. This is just a, you know, as, as uh, JC said and, and um, as George said, this is really a love letter to the fragrance community. So, you know, it's just a special project. All right. And there's not going to be a lot of these. So I do encourage you guys to go ahead and pick up a bottle of uh, Brass and Soul and the other two uh, Z Creator fragrances as well, Business Over Pleasure and The Siren. Um, any bottle you pick up, you will get samples of the others unless you buy the trio pack. Um, or I think there's a quad pack that has like all the Z Creator fragrances as well as the, um, I think, a bottle of Signature uh, Pour Homme from Zaharoff. Wonderful fragrance. Highly recommend, folks. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. That's my thoughts on um, Brass and Soul. I gave it a full wearing and I just love how it changes in the air when it gets warm. It really does get hot sometimes. Um, it gets like it just it, it's really, really warm. It's funny how the fragrance opens up very fresh and cool and then just gets into this deep kind of warm kind of little a little sweet, but maintaining some of those aromatic nuances from the beginning. Fantastic piece here. So um, thanks so much for watching, guys. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would love to have you back. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys really enjoy uh, this video and videos about fragrance, videos about um, you know the process of perfumery because I am an independent perfumer in training. And um, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your weekend and a wonderful rest of your week. Take care.